Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm going to share another Just Junk journal. Now I know in my last video I said that my fourth entry was going to be my last, which it was, but um, as part of the group, um, we were issued a little side challenge. Julie called it a challenge within the challenge, and it was a challenge to make a journal using um, junk mail envelopes and that's what this is now it didn't it, it could use other junk as well but you had to use um, junk mail envelopes as your main thing um, at least that's how I understood it so this is my um, junk mail envelope journal now I have done journals using junk mail envelopes before I, I like that concept but in my other junk journals, you know, I used other stuff that was not necessarily junk, like playing cards and scrapbooking paper and lace and things like that. Well, I found this picture in a magazine, and, and I was just using magazine cutouts that were already tossed aside from different magazines. But this one uh, I found, and I don't remember if it was in a Better Homes and Gardens or, or uh, Southern Living, but it was an ad, and I missed it a little up a little bit there but I just thought it was beautiful um, looked like a puzzle that was being put together um, but I just really loved it so I chose to make that my cover and this is actually some chairs it's upside down but I just liked the color um, I wanted to uh, kind of pick up the gray from the birds here and use the envelopes that like security envelopes that had gray inside so that's kind of what I went with this now if you look at this this beautiful picture to me said you need to have lace as part of this um, and since we couldn't use you know lace as part of the challenge um, I kind of found a way to do it we could use any kind of binding you know string or whatever so what I decided to do was, in order to use the, have the lace, is I use the lace as my binding. And as you can see, and you're getting a peek here, so I actually sewed the signatures in with the lace, and that way I can use it to wrap around as a closure. So that's how that is. All right, so there's my cover. It is on a piece of cereal box, and then covered with this. And I did Mod Podge over it to strengthen it, strengthen it a little bit. Okay, and here we go. So this is a junk mail envelope that didn't have the little plastic thing through the window. It was just an empty window. So I made it into, kind of reminded me of that little Tim Holtz die that has all the slots, but this only has the one slot. So here it, and this is a tag. All of the tags are made using packaging. So they had some image on, on one side that I covered with, you know, magazine pictures or pieces of um, the envelopes. And then this little uh, tab is actually the edge or the seam of a snack bag. I think these were actually like nuts or a nut mixture that, um, you know, that was the, the seam of the bag. And I liked the color. I thought it went really well with this even though this color isn't in there but it's kind of like a gray bluish gray so anyway i liked it so there's this little tag in here and then again some packaging and i saw somebody else in the group i think it was xanthony but i'm not 100 percent sure that he used in her journal um her little little bags from her sugar or her splenda or whatever it was she used now we use stevia but I thought, oh, how clever. They're like perfect size. So I have a few of those in here. And because these are largely gray, I used like the writing part on it. So this is another magazine picture there. And there it is. Okay. Security envelope. So what I did is I staggered them. Every other one, it, it's, it comes off. The, everyone has a pocket. And what I did is I put the envelopes inside out. And I reclosed them. And then I bound them this way, you know, fold it, fold it in half. So they're, um, they alternate from top to side. So it's every other one is the top and every other one pulls out the side. So most of them are magazine pictures, a little bit of that for embellishment. 
And again, I like to do my little staples with an X. Just think it makes it a little bit cuter than just than just stapling. And sorry about that. They all do fit, but sometimes they're a little tight. Okay. So the back is again a little collaging. That's another piece of envelope than this. Oh, another thing is the, it, the this color that's kind of grunge grunging that up a little bit is actually um, the ink pad that I chose, um, which is this ink pad. Okay, we were allowed to use an ink pad, and again, I picked it up for two ninety nine at a. So, um, I'm sorry about the weight. I want to show you my stamp too because I use the stamp in some of these. So, what I did is I mainly used, I believe, this one and this one. And I just kind of uh, see the way these work is they come out like this. And then you can use them individually. And then I just really kind of uh, uh, edged all the envelopes and on some of them I actually kind of smeared you know the front of them just to give them some color so I don't know I, I wasn't quite sure if I liked it but it's starting to grow on me <laughs> and then this is the stamp I use you'll see some of these throughout in there too okay so again that's top loading this is side and this is actually this tag is uh, piece of copy paper that you know something that printed wrong at work and I just folded it four times to the size of the tag then with this idea I also thought oh I could use a little mini mousse I, I have mini mousse in my coffee and so I use those as tabs fold it over now the rest of them I think I have the silver side out because um, I liked it better but I thought this one was good to have and there's a stamp some collaging this one is the top Another magazine picture the back is blank and then this one folds like that so you actually have a couple of tags and then a little bit of the picture shows in the bottom if I can get it to go in They're a little tight so okay oh you know what because the papers inside okay so this folds over it's not you know divided in any way but but when it folds over you can actually put the little this little tag in there like that and it's just blank on both sides again that's a piece of the misprint okay so then on this way is sideways and there's nothing here because that way you know you can put pictures or whatever it is on there and this I put a quote from my uh, calendar it says there's no such thing as there is no such thing on earth as an uninteresting subject the only thing that can exist is an uninterested person. So, I thought that was interesting. I don't know if I agree with it, but it's interesting. Okay, there's another butterfly. Another magazine picture. Another stevia pack. More stamping. Magazine. Hmm, I didn't do good. And right, There's some bubbles, but that's all right. Okay. Oh, I didn't put a picture on the back of this, but this is what it looked like. It was the, a misprint of uh, printout there. So I can put another picture back there. This one's at the top. And again, it was a folded up piece of regular copy paper. Magazine. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's running out of time because the deadline is upon us, but I wanted to do this now this is the tissue paper uh, packaging and I did it over another piece of packaging again just grunged up there's the whole stem another piece of that tissue magazine this was actually an image on the copy paper wrapper uh, you know that the, the, the that covers the ream of copy paper and I just thought it was a cool image so I used it for a couple of tags and here it shows through the window, which my window broke a little bit because the glue kind of stuck back there and I ripped it back out. So, I'll use this as my center. Pretty flowers. And then here's the other, oh, sorry. Here's the other side of the copy paper ream cover. And again, this can be journaled on or you can stick whatever you want to on there. 
here I just stuck a little cast off piece of um, you know this uh, composition book paper I made a little booklet just by stapling it in the middle and I just stuck that one in there okay here again magazine and this one's off the side and this was a, another security um, envelope this is the one that wasn't really an envelope but it was like the thing that you you open like your tax uh, w2s or whatever but on this side it was nothing you know it was blank like the inside of this was blank I just folded it over and made a little tag out of that and then that's some other packaging and the staples all of my little tabs are stapled on oh Actually, I lie. I think there were some that were glued on. But most of them are stapled on. And here's another mini move, but it's with the silver side out. This is a packaging that was actually just like that, so I didn't do anything to it. It was just, I just cut it to size. And another piece of the magazine. It's kind of pieced together. Okay, again, just plenty of room there to do whatever. And then another piece of that with some more envelope different envelope. And I just pieced that together from an ad. Tried collaging a little bit. So I snipped a little bit off of this lace and put it there. And then collaged a little bit on this tag. And then this one's just glued on. See, it's glued on either side. It's not stapled. So there we go with that. And the, I like that the little heart uh, paper clip shows through there. Another piece of magazine. Another magazine. <laughs> That's cute. I just liked his grayness against, you know, the rest of the gray. Again, another piece of magazine. And just, this is collaged. To the, this is the, the envelope. And then, like, the flap was here and it looked ugly, so I just put that other piece of envelope over it. Pretty picture from a magazine. I hope that was in frame when I showed you this. Okay. And then this is, uh, again, some packaging. And I glued part of that fan that I had uh, picked up to reuse. Um, I like the flowers. It's a piece of the lady and the little kid there. But, um, yeah, I, I wanted to use the fan a little bit more than I had. And so there's that. And the black lace, I think, went with this a little bit. Okay, there's more magazine pictures, another tag, I think this one I haven't, yeah, see this one I need to glue a magazine picture or something on there, because it still has that misprint on it. And then this is another one that folds out so I can have a thin tag there, I don't have anything on it, but, and then uh, another tag here, which again needs to be covered. Um, I thought I had covered them all, I guess I missed a couple. And then the tab is also a stevia. See this one? This one you can see how it said stevia. I cut it off a little bit. Okay, so there's that. And this is just grunged up again. I covered some other um, security envelope pieces with, I mean, over the flap. <laughs> so, there you go. And then in the back, I cut um, another envelope. Again, I had put it inside out and closed it oops sorry so i put the envelope inside out i closed it and then i just cut it like a little bit scalloped there and then glued you know the back of it to the cover and then it just opens up and this is i haven't even stapled it yet let me do that with you okay so i think it should fit okay it doesn't quite fit so i can just fold this over this written on. I'm gonna take out this written off part off. Okay, so I can just fold this over a little bit because it's not that many papers, it's not that thick. And staple right on the line. Well, I didn't do so well. Close enough. So it'll be kind of on the back. Okay, there. And that's another little booklet this way. And here. I actually like how this pocket came out, the way the envelope forms it. And another piece of packaging there. And that is it. 
and like I showed you the back already, this was Mod Podged, and I can tie this by pulling this around this way, and this around the back this way, and then just tying it up here. And I really love the way this came up, a little cute, cute journal, I think, if you like the grudge thing. So let me know what you think. Uh, it was just kind of like a quick little project, but I had fun with it. So this challenge has been, uh, well, sorry, I'm zooming in and out. This challenge has been so amazingly fun. And so I thank Julie. Thank you so much, Julie, for holding it. Um, I know in the group somebody else said that, you know, we've learned a lot through it by seeing each other's journals. So I really appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though I guess it's starting to be long again. So, um, hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.